Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we are going to benchmark this new Samsung Galaxy J7. So the J7 is a new mid-range phone from Samsung and it has a 5.5 inch HD display, uh, the 720p Super AMOLED display and it's powered by an octa-core chipset, it's an Exynos uh, octa-core chipset uh, from Samsung uh, coupled with the 1.5 GB RAM and Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. So that is the spec aspect of uh, the J7, now let's benchmark this device. So as usual, we'll uh, use uh, five apps, Antutu two Quadrant, Nenamark 2, Vellamo and the Multi-Touch app. So let's start off with the Antutu 2 benchmarking app. So now we have the Antutu Rusalda, uh, this is uh, 37914, that's very impressive score for a mid-range uh, phone, it's an octa chipset. Now if you compare with the Moto G, uh, we have a uh, Moto G with uh, 24288 and the J5 uh, with the same uh, Snapdragon 410 uh, quad-core chipset that comes up for 21603. So comparing that, this is really high benchmark scores um, on the Antutu app with the J7. Now let's proceed to the Quadrant test. So we have the quadrant result, it is 21153, again very impressive score, if you compare with the Moto G, it's 15151 and the J5 is 14678, so again impressive score when compared to these two mid-range phones. Now let's proceed with the Nena Mark II benchmarking test. Now the Nena Mark II benchmarking results uh, is 60.0 FPS, again uh, better than the Moto G which was 55.5 and the J5 which was 54.2. So now let's proceed to the Vellamo browsing test uh, and we'll also do the metal test. So let's start off with the browser test. So now we have the browser result, it's 2681, again very impressive score, we got 2165 for Moto G and 1842 for the Samsung Galaxy J5. Now let's move on to the metal test. So here again it has come up with a pretty good score, uh, 1090, uh, it was 985 and 965 on the Moto G and the J5 respectively. So now finally we will do the multi-touch uh, testing. So now this device supports 10 point multi-touch. So that's again uh, pretty good. The Moto G also supported 10 point multi-touch while the J5 was just 2 point multi-touch. So all in all uh, the Samsung Galaxy J7 outperforms uh, the Moto G as well as the J5 in terms of the benchmark scores. So, this is really powerful device in the mid-range category. We really wish Samsung could have included a 2GB RAM instead of the 1.5GB RAM on this device. So that's the only uh, thing we, sh uh, we wish uh, Samsung could have done better on this device. So except that this is an octa chipset, it's a really powerful uh, processor and uh, this also has 4G LTE, it has uh, Android 5.1.1 Lollipop and a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED HD display. So that's the benchmark of uh, the Samsung Galaxy J7, a powerful mid-range phone um, which is priced 14999 and available exclusively on Flipkart. So that's all guys, so hope you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day.